Hello YouTube, welcome to another video tutorial on Linux module programming. We're going to continue writing a character device driver. It's going to be a fake one nonetheless, but it's still going to show the actual implementation of a driver. Alright, first we're going to start with a fresh file called whatever you would like it to be called, and a fresh new make file. This is going to generate the actual module and use some variables and do some magic and it basically creates the modules for you. Keep everything in the same directory so everything will be easier to be made references to. Okay now so let's actually get into the writing of the code. And so these are the basic headache files that you always need. Uh, here it's going to be allow us to have file operations and file operations is simply a way to have the user open, close, read and write to a device file and that device file in turn invokes your driver's implementation of, of a bunch of pointers that basically perform the actions that the user initially requested. That, that's a mouthful so we'll actually write everything and everything will be start to fit into place. Uh, see they have a header file and that's used to help register your, your character device to the kernel. And the semaphore is used to allow synchronization so that multiple processes trying to act upon your driver don't try to mess up and corrupt any data. And we're going to use the uaccess header file to make reference to the copy to user and copy from user. And it's a way to map data from user space to kernel space because if you recall user space and kernel space are separate okay first order of business is to declare our fake device and it's going to be represented by a structure holding a data of size 100 characters and it's going to have a semaphore and that semaphore is going to be used for of course preventing corruption from multiple processes trying to act upon this fake device all at the same time Okay, next we're going to declare a couple of variables and the reason why we're declaring them out here in part is because if you declare too many variables inside of functions in the kernel, it will start to cause problem because the stack in the kernel is very small compared to user space stacks which are pretty large. So if you declare too many variables on the stack, it'll start to crash. So we don't want that, so we're going to declare everything in global space with respect to our module. And this is going to represent our dev character device driver. And M is used for my character device driver. And this is going to represent the major number that we're going to obtain from this structure. And this return, this variable is going to be used for holding the return values of any kernel functions because if a negative number is returned it signifies that there is an error and we need to check those, those errors and correct it immediately and this is going to represent the name of our device driver okay next order of business is to write an entry point for our device driver and the purpose of any entry point function is to make or register the capabilities of our device driver to the system. In this case we're going to be registering a character device driver to the system and we're going to be allocating a major number and taking that major number to associate it with a device file. And it's a two-part process and first, first we're going to allocate a character device region and this basically says we want to use the dev, the dev number which is going to hold the major number as well as the minor number and we're going to use that to say allocate a character device and store those character device with the major number and a minor number in this particular structure and we're going to start with the major number of zero and create a maximum number of one minor number and we're going to name it the device name that we specified earlier here and so after this returns this is going to contain our major number and we're going to later use it to add our device driver to the system and of course here we want to check for errors I mentioned that the dev number contains the major number and minor number and so here we're simply extracting the major number and keeping it in a variable so we can make use of it and here we're t instructing the user after using the message 
at the user ID message, we're telling the user to use MakeNob to create a device file and use make a device file with the major number. Okay, the second step of this two-step process is now to allocate the character device structure and to initialize it appropriately. And we simply do that by using CDEV allocate and it allocates it for us and stores. And now we have to initialize it properly by making a passing a pointer of file operations. We have yet to declare this file operations. That's going to be in the next video. But for now, just go ahead and say file operations. And next, we're going to say file owner is going to be this module. Now that we've allocated and filled out the appropriate field, we are going to add this character device to the system. It, we're going to take the character device structure that we allocated earlier with the major number and minor number structure and pass it to the system and say please add me to the kernel and of course we want to check for any errors and handle those appropriately but and simply we do this by propagating the error value and the last order of business is to create our sem4 our sem4 is of course as i mentioned earlier but in this case we're simply going to be initializing it and locking it and we're going to give it an initial value of 1. Now it's time to write our deinitialization function. This is going to be responsible for undoing everything that we did earlier, but we do this in a reverse order. We first remove the character device from the system, and lastly we unregister the character region that we previously registered. Okay, well that's going to do it for this tutorial. And um, please remember, if you try to compile at this point by simply saying sudo make, it will not compile only because we have yet to declare this structure and initialize it properly. Join me in the next video and we'll take care of that. And as always, please remember to rate and subscribe and leave any comments below. Thank you.